So Odori Park is a park here in um, Sapporo City um, and it runs pretty much I think at least a dozen blocks. It's like this thin long park that runs kind of right down the centre of Sapporo. Um, so I'm going to take you for a walk down the entire thing. Let's go! So here's a map view for you. So it runs like 10 blocks. So we're going to start from here and walk all the way down. at the end of Odori Park. I've just walked all, I think it was 10 blocks. So you probably noticed that I look different from when I did the intro to this video. So I went to film it the other day uh, when I did the intro and then I ran out of um, memory card space. So I filmed it again today. So I walked all of the blocks of Odori Park. It took me probably around maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Such a beautiful walk, really, really great garden all the way through the center of Sapporo City. Um, so you probably noticed that it didn't look quite like a, just like a normal park. That's because they're setting up for the Sapporo Beer Festival. Um, so if you're coming to Japan and you love beer and you're planning on being in Sapporo, I would definitely try and like plan your trip around the time of the Sapporo Beer Festival because it looks amazing. They look like they've done a really good job setting it up. So each of the major beer companies looks like they have like a whole block of the park set up as their beer garden. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty amazing. So I'm not really into beer, so I probably won't check it out. Um, but yeah, by the looks of it, I would definitely check it out if you're into beer. So anyway, I love Adori Park. Um, I just love parks in general, but yeah, just be being in the middle of the city. Um, and yeah, each kind of block of the park is a little bit different. Um, yeah, really lovely. So I would definitely recommend if you're here in Sapporo, start at one end and walk to the other. Um, only takes you half an hour and it's such a beautiful view. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to keep in touch with all my Japan adventures, including tours of random parks in Japanese cities, then make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Ooh.